Hi guys, Mel here at Gambit's Cards. We're going to be opening up uh, Icons of the Realms Fangs and Talons today. Uh, I've not actually done any research on this set at all, so it's going to be a surprise to me and hopefully you as well. So, here we go. Uh, this is always the fun part. Open. I'm wondering which one to open first. Just gonna set them off on the side here. <sighs> no falling, please. Alrighty. Awesome. Wow, don't need that. Alrighty, box one here. Really not entirely sure what the hits in this set are, but do you know we were looking at some of the characters on the side here. And they did actually look really cool. And then we also have these guys on the other side as well. Kind of hoping to get that uh, Mimic Door. That one actually looks really, really cool. Same with the Blue Dragon. Really, really hoping to pull that guy. Back of the box as well. And back to the front. Fangs and Talons. Awesome Red Dragon on the front. Alrighty. First box. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with the sizes of boosters, this is actually a larger booster box, uh, comparable to the Pathfinder Legendary Adventures box. So, oh, what on earth have we here? Ah, so it looks like the bases are clear, like in the Theros set. Uh, we've got a Nightwalker. This is number 45 of 45. He is actually quite large. I wish the lighting were better on this. I apologize, guys. Um, if you're able to, obviously swing on by the store and get an actual close-up look of this bad boy. He's got a little bit of uh, flames on the side there that are see-through. So he is overall quite an epic-looking piece. I will set him in the back here. Now for our small guys. Let's see what we've got. Alright, first piece here is going to be a, I apologize if I mispronounced any of these, uh, a Thean Apprentice, number 20 of 45. Oh, zoom in. Not on my hand. Zoom in on the character, please. Ah! Yep, yeah, sorry guys, the uh, camera's uh, having issues zooming in. Alright, what else do we have here? And I'll do a final run through at the end of some of these creatures so that uh, you can actually get an overall view of what they are. Uh, I've got a lizard folk, number 9 of 45. I'm just going to go ahead and set them down on the table for now and uh, do a close up shot of everybody at the end just to make it a little easier for everyone to see. Uh, we've got a goliath fighter, which is number 1 of 45. Uh, unfortunately, just like uh, happens a lot with these guys, the sword is bent. Uh, really hard to see, I apologize. A little closer here, you can kind of see how the sword is bent on that, which again does happen. Uh, just put it in a little bit of uh, warm water, uh, let it heat up a little bit, and uh, then go ahead and bend it the way you want it to, and uh, it should go ahead and bend it back out. Uh, this is something a little bit new this time. It looks like they've actually given you a little booklet to promote more of the items in the sets uh, and order some of the trophies as well. So, so some items that you could possibly get on the back side, especially some of the cool trophies like the Beholder statue or the Red Dragon uh, right there, which we've actually got on order. So hopefully we'll be getting those trophy plaques in soon. I don't have an exact date on that, but I will post in the video uh, when that actually is, so look uh, down below for the information on that. Alright, box number two. I apologize if you guys haven't seen me actually opening it. I wasn't paying attention to my camera, so I couldn't see that, uh, you couldn't see it either. Alright, looks like somebody's kind of falling out here. So, alright, large piece, which sometimes they just don't want to come out, which is very frustrating. Alright, whew, there we go. Alright, so we have 
I always forget how to pronounce this, a Wan T Anathema, Y-U-A-N-T-I. Again, not sure on pronunciation, I'm just going to call it Wan T for now. Uh, this is number 31 of 4 to 45. Basically it looks like a Naga, but also a Hydra with multiple heads. Alright, we've also got a Vampiric Mist, number 22 of 45. And that is pretty freaking sweet. I know it's going to be hard to see on camera. Uh, basically it looks like a clear ball here with some red veins running through it. Uh, yeah, very, very hard to see on camera right now. I apologize. But super, super cool in person. We'll try to do a better shot later. I apologize. All right, we've also got... Looks like a bunny corn. Uh, Al Mirage, number 4 of 45. Literally looks like a lop bunny with a giant unicorn head on top. Super tiny and cute. The camera's like, no, I don't want to focus on that. Yeah. Gonna have to manually... Wait, it's trying. Yeah, it's still a big giant blur. If I smack the camera mount, it might actually do something. Alright, so what do we got here? We have got a Boggle, number 5 of 45, and it's definitely a Boggle. Large head. Just imagine Dobby, but in purple, and you'll actually figure out what a Boggle looks like. Alright. Box number 3 here. Oh, for goodness sake. Open! Open, open! Thank you. goodies? No, extra goodies in that one. Alright. Interesting that only not all of them have that little booklet in them. So, I'm going to that off the side right here. This is actually quite nice looking. Okay. Get it in the light just right. An air elemental, number 27 of 45. So it's hard to kind of see some of these clear ones on camera. And we're going to try slowly to focus. So that one actually you can see a little bit better. But again, with these clear see-through ones, it always is a little bit harder to actually see on camera. And I'm going to move these guys up a little bit more so you can kind of see bigger guys. Some medium guys here. Large figure. And some small guys. Alright, out of my way. Alright, what else do we have? survey says open 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 we have a cobalt inventor number two of 45 and he kind of almost looks like he's got a flamethrower with a skunk in his pack interesting I guess not really a flamethrower just I don't know what it is kind of look like flail I'll let you guys figure it out I'm not very good at guessing some of these things Feel free to comment down below how awful I'm doing, or if you think I'm actually doing a good job. Looks like we've got another cobalt here. Uh, 15 of 45, another cobalt inventor. Except this time, I'm assuming it's an alternate. Oh, it's two, it's number 15, JK. Uh, this one also has a skunk on his bag, but it looks like he has got a... I'm not sure. He's got some sort of... Uh, my brain is not working right now. I apologize. I've got mom brain right now. Uh, and if you hear any squeaks in the background, that might be our three-month-old. So, uh, yeah, kind of like a clay pot with something else inside of it. A little bit odd. That yellow is what is inside said clay pot, but I can't quite tell what it is supposed to be. Honey. Yeah, it's not honey, though. It's not Winnie the Pooh. No, no comments on the peanut gallery down there. Alright, uh, okay, this is definitely a sick, sick piece. I do enjoy this. Uh, number 7 of 45, the Skeletal Alchemist. Uh, definitely super, super cool. I'll see if I can get a close-up on this one. Uh, he is all in black. I have a gold trim on him. It's really hard to see, but he seems to have a slight type of beard. Oh, for the love of Pete, would you zoom in? Uh, that is blue. Oh, I think I got a little bit there. 
on camera. But yeah, he is definitely a wicked cool looking piece. I would actually love to uh, keep that for myself. Come on, camera. Zoom, zoom. Focus. Pretty please. Okay, so hopefully we're a little bit blurry right now. Uh, we'll see if it'll autofocus here in a second. Uh, hello, camera. Pulling out his camera. Uh, focus. Ah, focus down here, please. Ah, right, there we go. Back to being focused. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Next box. This is number four. So about halfway through our brick. And oh my god, is that a dinosaur? It looks like a T-Rex. Minus his tail, which is a separate piece. Okay, now I really want to know. What are you? Oh my god. Roar. All right. It is indeed a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Number 30 of 45. This is probably the coolest thing I've opened in a really, really long time. I think the next coolest thing was uh, Al Hoon from I don't remember what set. My brain is, again, not working right now. Um, holy moly, this is an awesome, awesome piece. Almost comparable to opening up the Dragon Turtle from the Pathfinder Legendary Adventures set. Oh, I don't know if I want to sell this bad boy. This is super cool. This guy is huge, giant, giant T-Rex. I mean, look at this. I can fit my finger in his mouth. This is how huge he is. This is super, and I'm like, camera, where's the camera? I can't find the camera. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting some awesome focus going on to this bad boy. Let's see. All right, turn him forward. Wow, look at this, guys. This is just freaking epic. Okay. I'll see if I can do some uh, pricing out on some of these guys later and post down below and see what uh, any of these bad boys are worth. Uh, also feel free to shoot us a message if it's something you're interested in. Uh, we've got number 18 of 45, a Gloom Weaver. Uh, obviously looks like some sort of elf, dark elf, with purple flames around him and or a vampire of some sorts. All right, we, ooh, here we go. For all of you who have been asking forever and ever, we have a tabaxi. We've got a tabaxi fighter, number 34 of 45. Um, yeah, I don't anticipate this guy lasting long once people know we actually have a tabaxi. Come on, camera, you can do it. Focus. Come on. Uh, Bananarama. All right, well, it's being dumb again, so. All right, we'll put him back here with some of the other figures, and, okay, a giant spider. Good things one of our friends is not here, because she does have a bad case of agoraphobia, and she would not enjoy seeing this. All right, this is officially a giant wolf spider, number 8 of 45. Looks like it's leaping up in attack mode, which is super, super cool. All right, get out of my way there, you. All right, we are on box number 5 of 8. We're over halfway done, guys, and... So far, there have been some very cool looking guys in this set. Still no Blue Dragon yet, or Mimic Door for that matter, but you know, the day is young and boy are you ugly, what are you? <laughs> oh my goodness, looks like something from the first Star Wars movie. Um, <laughs> sorry guys, Merid. Uh, looks like a cross between an ugly frog person and a uh, water elemental. So, it uh, looks like one of Jar Jar's relatives. It is quite, quite ugly. But, I mean, for those of you who are into this, that, that's cool for you. <laughs> it's just definitely not my guy. Woo! All right. Moving on. We have got a very tiny figure here. What are you, my friend? Rawr. Uh, we have a twig blight, number three of 45. Uh, I know these were in another set that we've opened up before, it's not on camera. I can't quite recall. That's because I have opened up many, many boxes over the past year. Uh, we've got number 14 of 45, a Goliath fighter. This was actually on the back of the box. It's just a variant version. Uh, the Goliath fighter on the back of the box actually has a sword. Um, and this one here has what appears to be a very long hammer. 
So, very, very cool looking. Another uh, warrior back there. And it looks like we've got our first double in the set. So, it took five boxes to get a double. So, that's actually not too bad. So, number nine of 45 again, the Lizard Folk. So, we've got two of those bad boys now. All right, number six. What do we have here? All right. A very large, large deck. Oh, hello. How do I have? And I don't know if it's just the, but hello, are you an Etten? You are not. You, uh, sorry. I'm very bizarre here. These all figures have a slightly musty smell to them. I don't know if it's just the box, but, or if they're all like that. Uh, a dire troll. And my goodness, this boy has one, two, three, four heads, one on the back. Uh, sort of Voldemort-esque there. Um, well, I lied. There's a lot more. There's a couple uh, faces on the front here as well. Looks like one, two, three on his chest. Several arms. This guy is all sorts of ugly. He is just all over the place. Wow. Wow. What? An ugly, ugly guy. We'll put him right next to the uh, T-Rex there. Maybe he might get eaten later. Who knows? All right. What else do we have? We have, I don't know, a Fire Ganassi fighter. Very small for a uh, fire creature, but at the same time, very cool. The uh, bracers appear to be sort of slightly metallic. Uh, interesting headpiece this character is wearing. Again, we'll try to pan some of these later so you can actually see. Well, we've got a guy all in armor. Uh, very cool looking. An animated armor. Well, there we go. That'll be why he looks so cool. You can actually... Oh, well, there we go. You can actually see some of the uh, detail in the armor there. Very, very, very cool. Alright. And our second double of the set. One more skeletal alchemist. So if you need one more skeletal alchemist in your life, or more than you want one, hey, we've got another one now. All right, box seven of eight. We are getting there, guys. Almost to the end, which I don't know about you, I kind of don't want this to end. I want to open up another brick. I should want to open up everything in the case, but uh, I'm going to save some of uh, these booster boxes for you guys, too. Um, and in case you guys were curious about that, we are going to be doing them at 16 a box. Um... Wow, what are you, little thing? You're an earth elemental. That's our second elemental of the set. He has definitely got some anger issues. Groot is a little bit more pissed off looking. Yeah, angry, angry boy. All right, gonna go with our, what were you, air elemental, water elemental? I don't even remember anymore. Do we have a first invisible guy? Or you, oh wow, you are just a very creepy. A banshee, number 23 of 45, a banshee. Sort of an invisible creature, looks like the, uh, hi Munchkin, you got a lot to say tonight, don't you? Yeah, oh, you're afraid of the banshee? I'm very sorry. All right, the eyes and mouth are, looks like they're painted slightly red. Focus. Focus. Oh, it's trying to focus. My hands are apparently more interesting than the figure, according to the camera. So, sorry about that, guys. Alright, we have... Oh, well, there we go. There's the one off the back of the uh, box. We've got number one of 45, the other Goliath fighter. So now we've got both versions of the Goliath fighter. Oh, apparently I pulled the Goliath with the... Uh, I forgot I pulled the other Goliath fighter off the back of the box, uh, one of the first figures that we actually opened, they just, he has a bent sword, and this one does not. This one actually came out nice and clean, which so very rarely happens. If any of you have ever opened up these before, you are aware of that. Alright, what else do we have here? Uh, looks like the old hag from... Oh my gosh, my brain just failed on me right there. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Uh, so she's got a little apple in her hand. Uh, this is a green hag. And definitely looks like she's got a basket of some sorts in her hand. Can't quite tell what's in the basket, but she literally looks like she's holding an apple or some other type of item in her hand. 
and why won't you focus? There we go. Thank you. So much better. Yeah, there we go. All right. I am slowly learning this focus bit here. Sorry we didn't super auto test that beforehand. We will try again to get a close up of a lot of these bad boys. We are on the last box now, and it looks like I'm gonna guess it'll be a fire elemental that has popped out of the blah 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 crap everywhere. Okay. Out of my way! Alright, what do we have? Oh, indeed, it's a fire elemental. And that's three out of, I'm assuming, four elementals. Actually, there's a lot more than that, but uh, I don't know how many are actually in this set, because again, I did not do any research on these, so not entirely sure how many elementals are in this set. I'll have to look later. We have another uh, cobalt here. This one is a cobalt scale sorcerer number 24A, which means there's an alternate version of this one. This cobalt actually has wings and what appears to be a wand in his hand. All right, we have another sort of an busy guy here. This one is a skulk. Looks like another uh, fun ghosty guy. This one is also pretty much clear, reminiscent of the bone wraith with very, very long claws. We'll put him over here with our banshee. Nice ghosty ghosties, which is interesting for our fangs and talons set, but I guess with those claws, it definitely makes sense. And do I have a baby T-Rex? What are you? An ambush drake. A very small dragon here, um, which actually is very similar looking to our T-Rex. Uh, let's see if we can get a close-up on him. Focus, pretty face. Focus, focus, focus. Why won't you focus? <laughs> Alright, well, I can't quite get the angle right on that. This not used to the camera being at that angle either, so I'll put him right next to the T-Rex. Uh, we're going to do a quick pause here so I can get the camera situated so we can actually get a close-up of a lot of these bad boys so that you guys can actually see them, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. Oh, only some of these guys are in focus. Hi, you. Why don't we fo it does not want to focus on these. I'm going to move back a little bit further just so we can see. Alright, so we have got a large number of guys. Yes, we do, Pumpkin. Alright, a large number of figures, and you can actually see some of the scale on these bad boys. So I'll start with the kobolds here and see if we can get a close-up on them. Close-up. It does not like anything this close. I'll tell you that much. Scoot over, guys. Do not focus on them. Focus on him. Aha! There we go. Apparently, we can't have these awesome guys in the backdrop or it auto-focuses on them. Okay, there we go. So, got our lovely, lovely cobalt guy here. We're gonna slide him over and see if we can get the rest of the kobolds in the set here together. Sorry about the light there. So, here we have our different kobolds that we pulled. They are definitely super cool looking. All right, moving on to our armored, living armor, what were you? Animated armor, well, there we go. There we go, super, super cool looking animated armor. That is definitely a cool piece. Who wouldn't want to fight one of these bad boys? All right, moving on. We have our Vampiric Mist, along with our Skulk. And, well, super invisible, a little bit harder to see, and our Banshee. So, we have a super cool set of Invisibles here. So, I know the Vampiric Mist is kind of the cooler one to look at in this set. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer on the Banshee here. She's, you kind of vaguely see those red, red eyes with her hair flying up everywhere. Uh, focusing on my nail. I'm like, woo, look at that. No Manny's here for me. I work. <laughs> All right, last but not least, our Skulk here. With those very, very long claws. Like I said, slightly reminiscent of a Bone Wraith, however not quite as long. 
see if I can get my finger under them to get a, there we go. You can actually see a little bit better on that. I'm like, see me, look now, I'm not invisible. Ta-da! All right, moving on, we've got our wolf spider. Let's see him from the back first. There we are. Again, it's all raw and unedited. As you can see, we are not super, super fancy here, but uh, we do like to have fun. So, ah! just kidding. All right, next we have our green hag, which, boy, again, ugly and vaguely reminiscent of the old witch from Snow White with, like I said, maybe she's holding a heart, maybe she's holding an apple, not entirely sure what she has there, but uh, I'm gonna go with an apple for now, and if you guys feel like correcting me in the comments, please do so. Again, have not looked up anything in this set or these characters, not entirely sure. We have the Gloom Weaver here. Again, we very vampiric looking, also vaguely elfish, but uh, let me see if we can get the light there on the flames that are surrounding him. There we go. Better angle. There we go. Light function. Woo! There we are. So we've got long hair. Also seems to have some sort of skull. I can't tell what that is. Something attached to his posterior is what it appears to be. <laughs> Not entirely sure about that one, folks. Leave a comment below if you can tell me what that actually is. Alright, next we have our bunny corn, which is actually an Al Mirage. Oops, focus. It does not wish to focus. It's like, no, it's too cute for this set. I don't want to focus on it. Okay, there we go. There we are, little bunny corn. So, hey, someone might actually like to receive this as a cute little Christmas gift. Like, it's so cute! Just don't stab your eye out with it. And it does have quite a little sharp piece on there. Okay, maybe it's actually like the rabbit in the Monty Python movie. So look at the bones! Who knows? All right. Actually, I'm sure some of you actually know what it actually is and what it does. All right, we've got our little evil gremlin guy here. What are you? You are a twig blight. He just looks like he's, I'm gonna get you standard little pose there. Nothing super, super super exciting about this piece unless you really, really enjoy twigs. Alright, so now we have our creepy Dobby guy, the Boggle. Yeah, that's totally Dobby right there. I mean, look at that. That is just some ugly, ugly purple action going on right there. The big, big head ready to just be like, I am going to eat all your children. Yeah, let's get rid of him. We don't like him anymore. All right, now we're going to get into one of our uh, double pieces we got tonight. It was the Skeletal Alchemist. So we can get him zoomed in here. Focus, pretty please. Focus, focus. Eh, that's a little bit better. All right. Definitely going to have to do a backdrop next time for these reveals. I apologize, guys. So you can actually see the uh, metallic gold for his tabard there. Uh, his hat is all pointy. <laughs> Which style? Uh, we've also got some uh, gold on the back as well. Uh, yeah, he does. Oh my goodness. Uh, and I really wish I could zoom in. You can kind of see when the light catches it just right. The blue on his... I don't know what that is. Is that his beard? I believe it's his beard. It's kind of a, there we go, a bluish. And like I said, you have to get the light right to actually see it there. It's actually quite cool to look at. Um, and he has a potion of some sorts in his hand there. But we did actually pull two of those bad boys. So they are identical. So little skeletal alchemist twins there. Uh, next we're going to go to our... Uh, Sub pieces. We've got the Goliath Fighter number one of 45 and number 14 of 45 here. So, oh, focus, friends! What the name of this video is going to be Focus, please. All right, so we have the gentleman with the large hammer here, and we pulled two 
Wow, that one bends a little bit to the right, doesn't it, guys? Haha, <laughs> insert joke here. All right, and we have one that actually came out quite actually, I want to say perfect, which again never happens when you're opening these minis. Usually we have like the slight curve to the hammer here or the extreme curve to the sword here. Looks like he's almost got a whip and he's just gonna whip it. Whip it good. Um, so these guys actually have some markings on the back of their head and the top of their head. I think I'll zoom in a little bit on that and see that. So not quite Darth Maul-esque, but you know, it's something. All right, moving them aside, we have our fire Ganassi fighter, if I'm pronouncing that right. Ganassi, Ganassi, Gesundheit, whatever you are. Uh, it's such a dark, dark figure, it's really hard to see. You can actually see that metallic glint just a bit on the van braces there. And uh, I can't tell what is on their head, if it's an actual headpiece, if it's supposed to be their hair, it's sort of conch shell-esque. Zoom in a bit there and get my thumb out of the way and see if it'll actually try to zoom in. Nope, not today. Apparently not. So turning back, crossbow, there we go. Now it's trying to zoom in. There we go. A little bit better there for us. Alrighty, moving on. We have our second double in the set, which was the, uh, yeah, the lizard folk. You tell it, little man. So we've got two of these bad boys. and put one behind here, so. Uh, get out of that. Yes, my battery is running low. How about that, folks? Yay! I'm going to close that message. I know you can't see it, but I can. All right, so we have the lizard folk with the giant sword. Uh, he's definitely got some war paint on. Super cool looking there. And he's uh, got some uh, pointy sticks to throw at people in case he uh, needs to do some long distance targeting. Wow, nice piece there. I love how the, uh, the detail work on these figures has gotten much, much, much better over the years. All right, now we have our uh, Thayan Apprentice. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to say Saiyan Apprentice with a lisp. All right. Let's see. Focus, my friend. Yeah, you don't lie. I don't know how you feel about the Thayan Apprentice. Tell me how you feel, buddy. All right, there we go. We've got this, yeah, bald-headed little guy here. Uh, there we go. Nice little zoom in there. It looks like uh, a cross between something from Street Fighter and uh, Doctor Strange. Interesting looking figure there here. i to do a quick pause here so we can get some battery power to our laptop here. One moment. Okay, sorry about that, guys. All right, let's see if we can get this tabaxi fighter actually in focus here. Focus, please. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Why you don't like me tonight? Oh, yeah. <coughs> it does not like to focus. Hey, there we go. Focus, friend. All right, so now we've got this um, double check. Yes, tabaxi fighter. Number 34 or 45. Uh, definitely a sweet, sweet looking piece. I don't anticipate this lasting very long, like I said. Just everybody's always looking for a tabaxi for their character, and I never have any on hand. All right, we're gonna do, 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 get out of my way. All right, now, oh, <laughs> we're gonna lift up the camera, zoom in. There we go. So like I said, a relative of Jar Jar Binks here, uh, yeah, you are definitely not a pretty guy. However, when it comes to uh, fighting bad guys, it's definitely somebody I wouldn't mind beating up. And being like, get out of my way, I want that treasure, you cannot keep it. Alright, slide him out of the way. Moving on to our, what are you? These clear bases drive me crazy. All right, Earth Elemental. Ah, light, light. Okay, back down again. I'm just gonna see if I can raise the camera up here a little bit. Sorry, I apologize, guys. It's just like, wah, wah, wah. zoom in. 
There we go. Zoom out. Zoom in. Zoom out. All right. There we go. So, slightly, I don't know. I want to say Salmoan, but I don't actually know. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Kind of an appearance there. He's like, Rah! Actually, it does kind of look a lot like Groot, not gonna lie. Just, you know, pumped up and five times as angry. So that is our Earth Elemental. Moving on to the next in the series, our Fire Elemental here. And uh, he is actually pretty cool looking too, especially the way the light hits him. Hollow hole there for a stomach, almost. But uh, yeah, the way the light shines through him is quite, quite nice. Definitely don't want to find him anywhere near where you're traveling. All right, next we've got our good lord. These things are so hard to read. This is what I'm trying to talk about. This is what I'm trying to read here on the screen. You cannot read the words on the bottom. It is very, very faint. You have to get the light just right. Air elemental, which some of you are like, well, duh, why don't you know this? But uh, air elementals and water elementals look very similar at times to me, so I apologize. For those of you who are like, they look nothing alike. Why can't you tell? I have not pulled elementals for quite a while. So I have forgotten mainly what they looked like. Sue me. Oh, there we go. Now, nice, better focus on this one. Wait, we can really see the light shine through on this. It's quite a very, very nice piece. All right, moving on to our, again, pronunciation, not sure, Wanti Anathema, which again, I said was like a Naga here. So a person with a snake body, but many, many, heads, so sort of a hydra person here. Some very interesting speckles going on with the hands. Not sure what that's all about. Uh, I'm sure that is in one of our lovely guidebooks. Be like, hey, what are you? And they'll be like, hey, that's what this is. Don't go anywhere near it or you will get eaten. All right, moving on to uh, one of our other tiny pieces which is this little itty bitty guy here which was our ambush drake he is super tiny and super cute at the same time for being a very angry oh he'll have like the crash angry little guy i'll leave him on screen for comparison to our next three giant giant figures here our dire troll this is like absolutely ridiculous scale wise uh we're gonna go ahead and pan the camera up here so we can actually see the monstrosity that is the dire troll i can't even get him all in the shot unless i back my camera up all the way okay I'll slide you back slide you back go back into the light carolyn all right there we are so, oh my gosh, camera, why won't you function? Okay, there we are. All right, so this is our ugly, ugly, ugly troll, yet at the same time, extremely awesomely detailed. I mean, look at this. Look at all those faces on the body we have going on here. It actually, I was gonna say, it looks like uh, Robert England there on a bad day. All right, um, there we go. Look at all the detail work that actually went into this piece. It's actually super cool for that effect. Looks like he's gonna bite his ankle there. Yep, 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 get away from me. Um, this is like, I'm coming to get you, my pretty. <laughs> okay, and wait, there's a guy on the back as well. That's why I said the Voldemort little thing going on there with the uh, head on the back but ugly ugly snot green effect going on here but like i said even though in you look at him he's quite ugly this is actually a super super cool piece for what he actually is detail work is incredible again these figures have gotten so detailed over the years it's just super cool to look at all right moving on to our second large piece in the set which was my favorite thing to pull, not gonna lie, was the T-Rex. 
This guy is so cool. Not something you expect to pull in a D&D &D set. So for comparison scale wise, there was our small Drake that we pulled and our giant T-Rex. This is unreal. I've got my finger here right next to, well, wow, you couldn't see anything because I've got the wrong hand going on. Uh, in his mouth. This is how large this figure actually is. It's quite unreal. Compare it to one of our actual uh, fighters here, scale-wise, it is comparable to one of those dragons that you would find and probably be eaten by. Let's, uh, let's uh, have a little fun really quick here before we uh, move on to our next piece. Ah! Ah! I've gotten eaten! Coming to get you, my pretty. Okay, so sorry about that, guys. Gotta have a little fun while you're doing some of these videos sometimes. So detail work on this T-Rex is actually quite nice as well. Looks almost like a actual normal figure you could buy at the store of a T-Rex, but it does come in two pieces. You can see the join where the tail actually fits in for the slot, but uh, you can see the detail work on just the pebbling of the skin is quite nice on this bad boy. I'm sure you could even add some war paint and uh, you could actually add it to your Warhammer collection and make it a Seraphon if you really really wanted to. For those of you that actually play Warhammer as well, you know what I'm actually talking about. All right, battery's dying again, so I'll move on to our very very last piece here, which was the Nightwalker, which holy moly, there we go. Now we get some really detailing on those legs. Those interesting spectral flames going on. We pull him up. Those awesome deviled horns. He is super cool. In comparison to our troll, you can actually see he's actually much, much taller than him. Uh, I would actually say he's almost an 8-inch figure. This guy is actually super cool. Oh my gosh, light! Get out of my way! I'm trying to get the light. There we go. On his face, you can see those little speckled eyes going on, sort of like a spider right there. That is super cool looking. He has a little dungeon crawl in the background making more noises. Ah! Um, gosh darn it, this is actually- yes, he is super, super cool, buddy. I know you want to fight one of these when you grow up. Wow, look at the details on this guy. This is so cool. I'm assuming this is probably one of the hits in the set. Hi buddy, how's it going on? Nice to meet you. Alright. Wow. Such a cool, cool piece. Well, thanks for uh, being here with us in this video, guys. Uh, I apologize if it was uh, a little long or extremely overly <laughs> lots of technical issues. Um, but uh, that was our opening of the D&D Icons of the Realms Fangs and Talons set. Uh, leave a comment down below what you thought of this opening and uh, all the things we could do to improve it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great one.